All right, so we got two classically trained strikers here. Any chance this fight actually goes to the ground? This fight does not go to the ground. This one will be fought in the pocket. Two guys will stand in front of each other. They will trade punches. They will trade kicks. It's going to be a classic matchup that you normally see inside of a ring. We get it in the octagon tonight. Great punch. Just misses there with the left. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by his kind Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. When you're in the clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Gaethje gets tagged again. He better fix the defense here and quickly. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up. to avoid the, the comeback shot. Head off the center line, and watch from the counter with that beautiful straight left that he throws over and over. Gaethje gets touched by that kick there. 32 total strikes have landed for Dustin the Diamond Pool. He is throwing a fast straight hard jab. That's not a feeler jab. That's one that's really knocking the head back. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. This striker has come out swinging, and He's a very aggressive guy, but you gotta be careful, I would think, to not overextend yourself. Yeah, you would think you gotta slow down, but not this guy. This guy knows that he can secure finishes on the feet. Oh, Ooh, he's got him right here. Oh! Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Gaethje gets tagged with that jab. Pretty good weapon for him tonight. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. And a nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost art in mixed martial arts. The guys have found it, and they are fighting behind it real well. It's a beautiful fast foot jab with beating. All right, so he lands another jab now, just snapping that thing off, DC. I believe that the jab was lost in mixed martial arts initially, but now it has been found, and it's been found by this young man in this octagon tonight. Punches And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? Oh, how good is that Poirier jab? He's got huge hands and certainly was able to find the home for his jab there. I mean, the king of Lafayette has got it going tonight. Dustin Poirier fights in the southpaw, but he's a right-handed guy. That's why that jab does so much damage to his opponent. Well-placed kick there by Poirier. Trying to find a home for that right hand. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head. Big yeah, he's hurt really bad. He's got him hurt here. He's in trouble. He's getting lit up. Unable to connect with the right hand now. And they separate. Gaethje's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Well, how about this approach here tonight? Technical striker, and he has gone mad. Very accurate, but really just an all-out aggressive approach that we haven't seen from him in the past. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow is managing to land it with so much force. Look at the control of the posture as he land that knee. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Poirier gets caught with that punch. Oh, just out of range with that right hand. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. If your opponent has you 
in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch. You have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside to try to find space. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. Changes his stance. You'll see a lot of this from this fighter. Big kick lands. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Left hand punch from the clinch. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. I mean, he's cutting him down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. He engages in the single collar tie. Blocks the shot. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Gate he didn't oh. like that left hand. Another huge right. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got to very back. He is getting lit up right now, John. Oh, straight right. She gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Punch coming, it's blocked. Spinning back fist. Poirier gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jabs. He may throw the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. So the unofficial numbers, 123 total strikes have landed for Dustin Poirier. Well, I'm connecting on a rate of about 30% here tonight against Justin Gaethje. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Nice punch landed over the top. Oh, that's a big connection for Justin Gaethje and really just loves being in that octagon. I'm not sure anybody loves fight night as much as Gaethje. People don't enjoy being in someone's face, getting punched and landing punches as much as Justin Gaethje. He's right where he wants to be. And just misses with that big right hand. Lands with the right oh! hand. Oh! He can't even, he can barely stand. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over.